Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 17 career mode. We're going to be doing another simulation experiment here today. I want to pose a question to you guys. What if Olympiakos, Panathinaikos and PAOK were in the Syria coming over from Greece? So guys, if you still are enjoying these simulation uh, experiments, Please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know in the comment section down below. if uh, Just to leave me a suggestion, what other sides you would like me to move around the top European teams. For example, we've just finished moving Galatasaray, Besiktas, Fenerbahce into the German Bundesliga. We also moved Celtic and Rangers into the, uh, the uh, Premier League. So there's... Pretty much only a couple rules to this sort of series. I'm allowed to, I'm only allowed to simulate. I'm not allowed to edit the team. I'm not allowed to sign anyone. We'll recap the squad report and see how well these Greek sides do towards the end. It's going to be a lot of fun. I am I'm fascinated to see how these guys well because it, it really could happen in real life. But uh, Rome and uh, Athens are actually really quite close to each other. They could combine the leagues if they want to. The Romans versus the Greeks. <laughs> Let's see how well they do in Syria. A lot of competition here, though, as well. I don't even know who Olympiakos have these days. They used to have Matroglu up front. He was absolutely emphatic for them. He had that stint at uh, Liverpool. Uh, no, sorry, Fulham that didn't go too well. Was he at Southampton at one point? I think he might have been as well. Okay, guys, coming to the calendar now that I've sort of found out that the teams have a tendency not to sign players. But what an upset in Serie A. Lazio beats Juventus and smash... Maximilo, Maximilio Allegri's record with yeah, with them. Insane. I think they've stopped like a five-in-a-row season win. Lazio winning there. Insane. So let's talk about the, uh, the Greek sides in the calendar now. So like I said, Lazio won, Juventus second, Inter third, Florentina fourth, Napoli fifth, Roma sixth, AC Milan eighth, Olympiakos finished in 15th. Not the best. But uh, not getting relegated would be the main thing. Moving over from uh, Greece, PAOK didn't get relegated, sitting on 17 with 37 points. But Panathinaikos, Panathinaikos, I think that's how you say it. But uh, yeah, they finished in 19th on 34 points. Let's have a look at the uh, the Serie A domestic cups and see how well everyone did. So Juventus and Napoli got to the final there, and Juventus and Bayern Munich. Uh, Manchester City winning the Europa League over Manchester United. So no decent cup runs for the sides. If you predicted Olympiakos in uh, 15th, pat yourselves on the back. But Felipe Anderson scored 20 goals this season. Higuain with three. Dabala, the top goal scorer there. Marco Royce, the top goal scorer of the UEFA Champions League. So here is the squad. Cambiasso. Yeah, they have Cambiasso from uh, Leicester, which is insane. They have um, Brown Day as well. You're most welcome to pause and have a look. Marco Mariner from Chelsea. Yeah, you're most welcome to pause and have a look at all the players sort of in-depth stats. If you're curious, yeah, £7 million he signed from Chelsea. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. We'll go through all the teams and have a look at their top goal scorers as well. Alrighty, transfer history-wise, no one was signed in the clubs, but there was a, a pretty big signing to Panathinaikos from Trebizond. Verratti was the top goal, uh, top signing going to Bayern Munich. Eriksson, Akadi to United, Laporte to Chelsea. A couple of others there as well. You're most welcome to pause and have a look. But I'm sort of seeing a trend with uh, some of those signings, believe it or not. So let's go to Olympiakos. Padro, Seba up there. Marco Marina with four goals as well. Moving along now to Panathinaikos, who was the top goal scorer. Leto. Um, don't really notice any of those other names. But the Greek sides, what, two stayed up? Two, one got relegated. I don't think that's too bad of a bad average, if I'm being honest. But guys, it is time to end the video here. Most welcome to have a look at the uh, 
the squad there, the 4-3-3 formation. So guys, let me know in the comments any other sort of uh, teams you like me to do. Any teams you want me to move into different leagues and uh, see how they do on a simulation. Um, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe even some PSN and Xbox codes, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Patreon and Steam group there as well. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure to take care of yourself. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. My name is Ben Simpson. Take care. Goodbye. Marez. Whips it into the box. Royce! <laughs> that is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce. Holy shit.